Hi, today I'm going to demonstrate a technique involving something called dictator apps. What a dictator app is, is um, an application in Excel which completely takes over all of Excel's functionality. The entire ribbon is totally replaced. Uh, all the control keys, you know, like control C for copy, is also trapped. And the user must use the application uh, as designed. The application itself is quite large, not necessarily, but in most cases it is. And um, when you save, you do a save, the application doesn't get saved because that would be a little ridiculous since it may be 20, 30, 40 megabytes and the data itself would only take up you know, a couple of kilobytes. So I'll demonstrate a technique I came up with. I used to work for the major um, tax and accounting firm for 20 years. And I came up with this technique, which saves a lot of time. So say you have many thousands of input cells, over hundreds of sheets in this kind of dictator app. And the file save in VBA saves the data to a separate data file, not saving this workbook. Now you need to start over with an empty file for new data. Usually the technique can do the, this technique will do it instead of looping through the input cells and clearing them. Because if the application changes, you have to change the routine to know which cells to um, delete. So I came up with this technique in which I can actually reopen the workbook from the workbook, which is interesting. Because if I had data in here, like fill me one has, is where the data might go. Some data goes here. And I just did control enter. And then I have another sheet with more data here, more data. Control enter. So here's the data, and, uh, and I'm done with what, what I wanted to do. And I did a save, and now I want to clear the input cells for a new uh, set of um, how I want to use this file, brand new data. So um, let me just demonstrate that I can't just open the file. So I'm going to take this and color it. I'll make it a nice deep red. And if I now try to open this file, And it's in my desktop, and it's the Amsterdam Summit, and it's called I Open Myself to Clear the Input Cell. I click Open, and nothing happened. Because a workbook, if it's already open, won't reopen from within that workbook. Even if I go to the Visual Basic, and if I look at the immediate window, and I say workbooks.open, and I do this workbook, Dot name and I hit enter again nothing happens and yet that's exactly what I'm doing when I hit this refresh button watch there's all my information it actually closed the workbook and then reopened itself because I couldn't just reopen the workbook as you saw it doesn't work but if I close the workbook how can I reopen it watch the magic if I look at the macro and assigned to this refresh button, and I edit it, this is all the code that I need. I don't even need the option explicit because I have no variables in here. But I say uh, the sub refresh is what's tied to that button. And I say application that on time now reopen. And then I close this workbook. So by the time it wants to run reopen, the workbook is closed. There's nothing open, which is why you saw that workbook in the background for a moment, this, this blue workbook. But if I now go back to the code, in order to run reopen, I didn't notice I didn't execute, I didn't close Excel. I closed the workbook. Excel is still running. The instruction to run this reopen code is still sitting in memory. In order to run it, which is here, it has to reopen the workbook. So even though the workbook is closed, it runs the workbook. And in case there were many files open, you want to make sure this is the workbook that's, that's active. So I don't want to close it. Yeah, I do. I can close this workbook refers to the workbook that contains the code. So if I run it, there it is again. And everything is reset. I think it's a pretty cool technique. It saved. Um, having to change the routine if new input cells were added. Pardon me for that. Um, but 
uh, it went from three minutes in many cases to about 10 seconds, 15 seconds, pretty large workbooks. I actually worked with workbooks that had 50,000 lines of VBA code and many hundreds of sheets, some of them going to the last cell of well over 40,000 and out to column, or maybe beyond column Z. That was very heavy duty stuff. And I came up with this and it was well received. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, talk to you next time.